Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing five tips that help me recover faster, making me more progress and making me more gains. So if that sounds interesting, let's get into it. So the first tip, and one of the most important tips is to hit your daily protein intake. Proteins are made of amino acids and amino acids are the building blocks of your muscle. So you can understand that eating enough proteins has a big effect on your muscle gain and on your recovery. But how much protein should you take on a daily basis? There are a lot of answers to this question. Some people say you need one gram of protein per kilo of body weight. Others say you need 1.5 grams of protein per kilo body weight. I am saying eat 2.5 grams of protein per kilo body weight. This way your body has enough amino acids to recover from your workout and it also makes you feel saturated. Feeling saturated is an attribute of eating a lot of protein and if you feel saturated the chance of you overeating are very slim because we as calisthenics athletes our weight is very important. We want to keep it as low as possible because all the exercise will become way easier. Moving on to tip number two, which is sleep. You guys have no idea how much people sleep on sleep. Sleep is one of the best things you can do for your recovery. Aim to have at least eight hours of sleep every night. And if you're injured, maybe consider even sleeping more. Approximately 45 minutes after you fall asleep, we will enter the deep sleep phase. In the deep sleep phase, your body releases the growth hormone. The growth hormone helps you repair and grow your muscles. The reason why I'm saying people that are injured need to sleep more because when you're sleeping more, you will get more deep sleep phases, meaning you will get more growth hormone and your recovery will be faster. But if you don't sleep enough, you won't get that boost from that growth hormone, meaning you won't recover as fast as you could. So definitely sleep eight hours a night. I promise you, you will feel the difference. Tip number three, and I love to personally do this every day, which is foam rolling and tera gunning. Foam rolling and tera gunning helps the blood circulation, meaning all the acids that are built up in your muscles because you worked out are flushed away by the new blood that is coming towards your muscles because you get the blood circulation going. Especially if you feel sore, tera gunning and foam rolling is one of the best things you can do. But unfortunately, it feels like torture. This is torture. But afterwards, it will feel so much better. So try it out because I personally really love it. And I feel like I'm recovering faster because I do it. So try it out. Moving on to tip number four is listening to your body. I personally could learn a lot from this as well because I don't always listen to my body. If it gives me signs, I tend to ignore it, but I'm slowly getting better at it and I'm getting less injury and less stress on my body. I know fuck you lying. Why you always lying? We as humans are perfectly balanced. Like if our body needs something, it will tell us what it needs. For example, if you're feeling thirsty, you need to drink. If you're tired, you need to sleep. All those things, your body is perfectly balanced and it will tell you what it needs. So if you're feeling tired, it is probably a best thing to take another rest day. It's not that bad to take another rest day. Probably will even be more beneficial for that workout the day after. But there's one thing to not get confused is if you're just lazy. You know your body is ready and it is good, but you just don't feel like wanting to work out. That is an excuse and we don't want that. This only applies if your body is just tired and you feel like, okay, I am sore. It's not that smart to train today a hard training. I am doing another rest day and the day afterwards I go hard. So if you're lazy, just freaking hit that workout because otherwise you will never make progress. So that's the one thing you don't need to get confused. Moving on to tip number five, which is drinking enough water. Our bodies are 65% made out of water. So you can guess, Drinking enough water has a big impact on recovery. Water flushes away all the toxins and brings out new nutrients towards the cells. Drinking enough water can decrease your soreness and the tension in the muscles. Studies have shown that men need to drink 2.95 liters of fluids every day. For women, this is 2.2 liters of fluids every day. This of course doesn't need to be all from water, but the more the better. I have two extra tips that maybe help you recover faster from your workouts. The first extra tip I'm gonna give you guys is do an activation workout. 
If you're still feeling sore after two days of resting and you should be hitting a workout, then it's a good option to do an activation workout instead. An activation workout stimulates the blood flow towards the muscles, meaning your soreness will go away way quick. What I personally like to do is do my warm up routine as an activation workout. So I do only stuff with my resistance bands to get my body warm. I don't do any calisthenics exercises because I want to decrease the stress on my body. I want to just circulate the blood flow. And for me that works the best with doing just my warm up with some resistance bands. So if you're sore and you should be hitting a workout, try this one out. And one last extra tip I want to give you guys is take warm bath or a warm shower after your workout. This as well stimulates the blood flow meaning you will get fresh nutrients, tortures, muscles, flushes away the toxins and just getting less sore and recover faster. So that were my tips on how to recover faster. I think if you implement at least a couple of them you will get way faster results and you will get more gains in the long run, less soreness, so it's a win-win. So try it out guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, maybe consider subscribing and liking to the video, that way you support me big time. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay good, stay healthy, peace out, ciao, ciao.